All right, everyone. Lagging here again. So, <laughs> yeah, like I said, did not realize that Fallout Zero was going to just end so abruptly. But luckily, I have the next mod that we're going to be, uh, the total conversion mod anyway, that we have uh, set up, prepared. Fallout New Vegas mod called the Boulder Dome or Beyond Boulder Dome. That's I'll just go through real quick, like before, with the Fallout 3 mod and go through all the different mods that I have installed currently, just so you're aware. So, I have an automatic weapons fix for the minigun, gatling gun, chainsaw, stuff like that. I have the New Vegas anti-crash, of course, the unofficial patch for NVSE, and the unofficial patch plus. We've got the weapon mesh improvement mod. We've got the... Uh, Yuki Shigai unofficial patch, known as Yup. We have JVS or the Just Vanilla Sprint, which allows sprint. I've got perk every level, because why not get a perk every level, you know? We also have Project Nevada, which is a nice uh, retexture mod for different stuff. We have real-time real weapon modding system. I think that just lets you mod your weapons in real time and stuff like that. Instead of having to go to uh, a bench, I forget how it works. I also apparently have a, another sprint mod that uh, is called. Mm. I have a camera shake reduction mod because, you know, when there's explosions and stuff, the camera shakes and that's just annoying. I have a mod called Impact and Impact Compatibility. And specifically, the, the Impact mod, what it does is uh, changes the uh, uh, ballistic impact of stuff. So, like, bullet holes match your ammo type and stuff like that. So it's, you know different and stuff like that, right? Uh, and also the compatibility edition for, you know, PC and stuff like that. We have the KVSE animation plugin, which is just some animations for uh, guns and walking and stuff like that. We have the NVTF or the New Vegas Tick Fix, which I don't remember what that does exactly. I have the EXE uh, effect textures enhanced, which affects for explosions, lasers, all that good jazz. We have the MGS Neat Clutter Retexture, which uh, changes textures for various cluttered items that look like shit, now look a little bit better. We have the part one, two, and three for the NS, uh, NMC's Texture Pack for New Vegas, which adds a bunch of different textures from a variety of different things. We have the OJO uh, Bueno Texture Pack, which also adjusts number of textures. We have the Wasteland Clothing High-Res Texture Pack. Of course, all the Boulder Dome mods. We have the Better Pickup Prompt, which has since been discontinued, but essentially when you hover over stuff, it'll give you better information, so just like wait. Um, all that kind of stuff, which is just very handy to have. We have the Enhanced Item Info uh, mod, which gives you a better information as you're hovering over an item, which is very helpful to have, such as like a weight the value ratio, so you know what's best to sell. We have the faster startup splash screen, which just basically lets you very simply bypass quickly some of the uh, loading screens uh, at the beginning. That's all just when you start the game up initially. We have the just dynamic crosshair, which is very handy because it'll adjust your crosshair size, whether you're like, if you're moving, it'll be like even a wider, show you better spread of your weapons, which is good. Just hit markers will actually give you hit markers when you hit things. The MTUI is uh, UI adjustments. It makes UI basically just a million times better. Uh, it rearranges like the font location and stuff like that. You'll definitely see a change if you don't use it before. We have the mod configuration menu, uh, the weapon mod menu, which is a better thing for uh, changing weapons. We have the JIP LN NVSE plugin which is uh, just the New Vegas script extender kind of thing, I think. It's an extension of that, which adds new functions and stuff like that. It's needed for other mods. We have New Vegas skips extender, of course. We have one tweaks for Fallout New Vegas, which uh, is kind of also like a, a modding resource for various other things. And the last thing is the weapons retexture product uh, project, which changes a bunch of different things. So in total, we got a number of different mods, right? Uh, 42, uh, 40, 49 active mods. There's a couple that I don't have installed, 
which I wasn't sure what exactly they did. I didn't want to install them. Anyway, those are the ones that we have. Now, over to the game. Begin there. Launch it. And I will have to uh, adjust the capture from Fallout 3 to Fallout 3 Vegas because I wasn't expecting to record it today. You'll give me just one moment. Edit. Game. Game. Fallout New Vegas. Boop. Boop. And we're done. Easy peasy. So, I was smart. And uh, I had prepared this to actually take us directly to where we needed to be when we load. So, we go to load, and uh, we're outside of Old Fort, or Old Mormon Fort. We'll load the game. I'll kind of talk about different things. So, Project Nevada installation doesn't work or something. A new weapon mod apparently doesn't work. And, uh, yeah, I, I couldn't figure that out. So I just ignored it. Anyway, here we are. Go to the world map. We're inside the, uh, I think it's a free side, or whatever you call it, in a New Vegas area. And as you can see, I am currently level 20. That's just the recommended level that the game, uh, that Boulder Dome told me to be. I think it's actually in the quest thing here that it said. Oh, it did not. I guess it was just in, uh... The actual mod page that you recommend you be level 20. So anyway, I spawned in on the world map here, and I made my way across from Good Springs all the way across here and to this location, which is the quest marker for it. So let's go over the stats real quick, just so we're all on the same page. Here's my special. I'm not going to say each one individually. Of course, heavy into intelligence for those stat points and for the ability to do different things, such as science and uh, that goodness. Of course, charisma, so we can talk our way out of things. And, of course, agility and luck, because luck is great in general. Agility, so I have more action points. Hey, Loxy, welcome, welcome. I'm just going over the uh, information for the Boulder Dome, because uh, apparently Fallout Zero ended abruptly. So uh, <clears throat> we switched over to this mod instead. I'm just kind of going over all this because it's in Fallout New Vegas now. We're doing that. So skills. This is the skills. As you can see, I put most of my stats into guns, repair, speech, along with enough in science and lock picking to set me up good, and some in medicine and energy weapons. For perks, we have Adamantium Skeleton. Um, I normally wouldn't care about this one, but... I was running out of different things to pick, so I had to choose it, but it, it's helpful. I have and stay back, which is the shotgun knockback, bloody mess, of course. We have charge, which allows you to sprint with your weapon out. Um, we've got educated, which, you know, gives you more skill points. Explorer, which reveals everything on the map, just so I don't have to you know, explore around a lot. We've got faster metabolism, which gives you health bonus from stim packs. Hot-blooded, which means when I drop below 50% health, I gain more damage. Jerry rigging I can uh, fix things with similar weapons, for example, just to make repairing easier. We've got Nerd Rage. Uh, we've got Rapid Reload to reload faster. Robotics Expert to do more damage against robots. Unhanded Gun. I can reduce actors and enemies with one-handed weapons while moving. Uh, more ammunition and containers. I do more damage with shotguns because I ignore damage threshold. I gain more skill points, but I, you know, lose more experience. But of course, that doesn't matter because I have Swift Learner. So one point in skilled learner takes away the uh, skilled thing. So essentially, I have two points in skilled learner here. And also tag, I, I gained an extra 15 to some of my skills here. And then weapon handling is the last one, which reduces the strength requirements by two. So I can actually... Uh, Properly, I suppose, and then, uh, that, that's about all. So, and then for the items, so of course I, I went ahead and gave myself a, a bunch of caps. As you can see, I had a, a bunch up here, and uh, I got my armor, got the armored duster and a recon helmet that I picked up along the way. Got a number of stim packs and stuff. I've got some ammunition, some other stuff here. Some ammunition, you can see it all here. But the weapon specifically, I got my. Uh, 
a machine gun, pistol, an anti-material rifle, an assault carbine, an auto goss, a battle rifle, a goss minigun, hunting revolver, laser pistol, a uh, laser uh, RCW, a mercenary's grenade launcher, multi-class rifle, and a leather 10 millimeter. Yeah, that's just kind of what I picked up here. I'm actually going to I drop caps because I don't necessarily need this many. I don't think I can. That's unfortunate. Anyway, when you start Boulder Dome, you come here to the uh, Mormon. What was it again? This is the uh, local map. Old Mormon Fort, where you come to, directed by the uh, Taking the Bait quest. And it apparently wants you to look at this View Weapon Tester ad. The Weapon Tester wanted. The risk is minor, but the rewards are great. Pay in food and caps. To apply, report to Dr. Fabler in the labs of the old mobile base crawler in the Nellis airplane graveyard. Enter the graveyard through the drainage tunnels and avoid the local. Of course, they're going to bomb you because they're the boomers. All right. Hello. So we got that. Now we can make our way over to where it wants us to go. Apparently, I just completed a quest by just walking away. Called the White Rabbit. I don't even know what that is. I don't remember that quest at all. Oh, here you can see my character. Turn around. All right. Got for the sprint ball. Okay, where am I going now? Right out there. Okay, so we're actually pretty close. I thought we'd have to go further away, closer to the boomers area. But that's all right. Right, two changes the ammunition. Ah, I hate that part where the two key changes your uh, your ammunition type instead of having a different gun. All right, got the anti-material rifle. Oh, I cannot sprint because I don't have the strength for it. Right, I forgot with heavy weapons I can't sprint because my strength is like three. I don't have the strength for this weapon. It's a handgun, Bruh. Whatever. All right, sewer gate to outer Nevada. Hello there. Hey, you. I need to talk to... Oh, wow. What the hell is wrong with your face? Why are you all smooth like that? That's so... Wow, that's really weird. That is hilarious. Turning it around on what, you know... Smooth skins normally say to ghouls. I'm not a ghoul. What the hell is a ghoul? Never mind. Would you come with me, please? The captain wants to talk with you, and he doesn't like to be kept waiting, okay? Sure. I'll lead the way. Well, that's a relief. I was worried you might argue with me or something like that. Come on, just follow me, and we'll be there in no time, all right? I can't with this weapon either. What about, uh, this one? Nope, this one. Okay, apparently this plasma rifle, the multi-pass rifle, I, I can sprint with, so. Who is that guy? Oh, wow, it was true. Is it's it safe on the outside? Move. What the hell? Where am I going? He didn't even lead me to the guy. Come on. What? Where is it telling me to go? Over this way? Do I have another quest, maybe? Okay, yeah, I have a different quest. Alright. We have, like, a community of ghouls, it seems, that, uh, don't realize that the outside world is not all open to prison cells. So, you're the one from the outside that one of my scouts saw. 
wandering around a war zone like some kind of damn fool? What were you thinking? Never mind. I don't have time to listen to a civilian's boring tale about wandering around. We've got a war to win, and you're going to help us win it. As you know, we're a bore of those commie reds, the Chinese. We've been fighting them forever now, and even when our plans crashed, we kept at it. Do you see our faces and bodies? It must be some kind of trick from one of their red experiments. Damn Chinese bastards. We're gonna get them. It's been utter and total hell out there. Why, just the other day I had to go out and kill ten Chinese assassins with nothing but my teeth and... Um, sir, I don't really think that lying to our guests is going to help our rather delicate situation regarding end in this conflict easily. End this conflict? This conflict isn't going to end until every last one of them is dead. I didn't crawl on my hands and knees in a minefield, just... Sir, neither side has mines in our supply, sir. You never crawl through a minefield on your hands and knees like that. I, I'd remember that. I like Pierce. Well, clearly your memory isn't working very well now, is it, Pierce? Did you forget when I used to start in can to strangle one of them in seconds? Uh... Was there going to be a point to this eventually? Sir, I really think you need to tell this outsider what you want to do before he gets annoyed and leaves this place. I, for one, think that we should... No one cares about what you think we should do, Pierce. Now stand down while I explain to this outsider what I need him to do before he leaves us. <laughs> All right, outsider. I need your help with a delicate situation that I've got right now. Thanks to my heroism on the battlefield, we managed to... Oh dear, here we go again. Sir, it's not really heroic to strike a surrendering soldier in the head with a butt of your gun. Quite the opposite. Will you shut up, Pierce? I'm trying to have a discussion with the outsider and your prattling is ruining it. Now go over there and shut up. As you can see, outsider, some of my men are less than dedicated to their country. I love this. I would have them all shot if I could, but I need them alive. Either way, because of my heroic deeds on the battlefield, we were able to catch the slitty-eyed leader of those chinks during a raid. And? And I need your help to figure out what to do with the red bastard. He refuses to speak to me, and my men have no spine, so I can't just kill him. Why don't you just kill him and be done with it? For some silly reason, they think his death will incite his soldiers to try a final assault on our camp. I say bring it on, you slitty-eyed commies. But how would they know he's dead unless you, like, show them their body, right? So what I need from you is really simple when you think about it, outsider. I can't order his execution, but you can. And then they can't defy me. You're an outsider. If you make a show of investigating and they give the order to kill him, they can't blame me for it and argue. It's perfect. Think of it as being conscripted with a very important military position to help rid your country of communist scum from the face of the earth. Okay. A waste of time, if you ask me. He only speaks his crazy-ass commie language, though. Finally, now that idiot hero is gone, we can talk like civilized human beings. Although I doubt I can count myself as one anymore now, can I? All right. <clears throat> I already find the writing quite humorous, so uh, <clears throat> this will be fun. All right. Yeah, you're kind of called ghouls now. Ghouls? Well, I suppose it's better than zombie or uh, un undead, right? Well, now there's a name for what we are now, at least, right? What do you want to talk about? I need to talk to you about what Eli wants you to do. He's not in the right state of mind anymore, and, and to be honest... Seems like an idiot to me. I don't want to sound too harsh. He's just confused. I need you to make sure you do not sentence that poor man to death to help us leave this place. Okay. Eli never even captured the poor man. He walked up to him and Eli just beat him nearly to death with his rifle. I had to stop him from killing him. No one wants to be here anymore. Neither side has been actually fighting, if you could tell. We've just been shooting slightly away from the others. Eli doesn't understand that neither side wants to be involved in this war anymore. He thinks that the world is still the same out there, but it's not. We just want to leave this place and explore this new world we live in. But we can't because Eli won't let us leave this stupid place. 
He's stubborn. But there's one other issue, and we need your help. We want to leave, but we need to make sure the Chinese won't attack us while our backs are turned. That's why we need their leader alive. If we kill him, then the Chinese probably won't let us leave this place. Our peace agreement will be ruined. I just need you to talk to him and talk to the soldiers too if you like. Understand their side and please try and convince Eli to leave this place. If you'll excuse me, I need to go before Eli starts screaming for me. Please consider my option instead. We don't need any more bloodshed here. Okay, real talk. There's one very simple solution to this that I feel like they're overlooking. Just kill Eli. If everyone wants to leave and Eli has no supporters, all you have to do is kill Eli. Then y'all can leave. Who's this? What? Why were they all freaking out about a smooth skin when there's a smooth skin lady in here? What? Okay, anyway. Uh, sir? Can I talk to him? We were told not to let anyone speak to the prisoner outsider. Orders from the top and all that. You understand. Can't really do anything about it. Sorry. Sure, sure, sure. You don't need to apologize for doing your job to some weird-looking outsider, you know. That weird-looking guy should understand our position. I was just being polite. Manners don't cost anything, you know. You could stand to use them more often, in fact. You're very rude sometimes to people. I promise you I won't find out about this. Uh, do I need to tell Eli you're hindering my investigation? Well, there's no need to be so rude about it, outsider. I swear, Manners has gone the way of the dinosaurs with some people. Absolutely ridiculous. So, it seems that the angry American has found someone to do his dirty work for him, hmm? It is strange. You do not look like anyone else here. So, uh... What was this about this prisoner not being able to talk? Eh? English? <clears throat> yeah, I think he's an idiot. He should be stopped. You can help me figure it out. If it will help my people leave this place peacefully with the Americans, then I will do my best to help you in any way that I can, outsider. So you try to have peace talk with Eli. Why? I thought that the man could be reasoned with. Neither side has been actually shooting at each other for some time now, and I think we should leave. Ellie thought it would be a good idea to hit me with the butt of his rifle and try to kill me right then and there. My mistake for thinking he was wise. Let's see. Does men want to leave peacefully too? Of course they do. There is nothing for us to fight about anymore. You may go and ask them yourself if you wish. They will not attack you, outsider. Eh? What'll happen if Eli kills you? I suspect they will be upset about what happens to me. They will most likely start to actually shoot at the Americans if pushed to it. Of course. Alright. Whatever you decide is what you decide, outsider. For better or Right. Okay. And you, jail guard? Who's that lady? Miss? Miss? I'm gonna to talk to you. Whatever. All right. <clears throat> hey, oh. you. You're going over to the Chinese side, aren't you? Do you think you could do me a little favor while you're over there? Sure, what it you It won't take long. What do you mean to do? You'll do it? Thanks so much. I'd do it myself, but that ass Eli is keeping a close eye on everyone. And there's no way for me to sneak out. Hear it. Well, you know how everyone around here doesn't really want to fight anymore? Well, we still got to keep up appearances to Eli. Or else he yells at us. It's really annoying sometimes, but we came up with this system of just shooting at those Chinese to the left of where they're standing, you know, to miss them. The plan's been going along real well for us so far, but... But I didn't mean to actually hit that guy. He moved just as I was pulling the trigger. Honest. How do you even know he's still alive and died from the wound? Well, I only hit him in the leg. I couldn't have killed him, could it? Oh, I hope I didn't kill him. I didn't mean to actually hit him. He moved. 
I can't get over there to apologize to the guy myself, but I'm sure that you could get over there and give him this apology note from me. Okay, yeah. Thanks a lot. Here's the note. All you have to do is find the soldier sitting in the back somewhere. I haven't seen him, so he must be in the back. Okay. What does the note say, though? Can I read the note? Whatever apology from Henry. How does he know his name? Anyway, please accept my most sincere apologies for shooting you. If you are not dead, if you're reading this, please give your forgiveness. I've never shot anyone before. I really didn't mean to. I mean, hey, I love Chinese food. What do you mean? Oh my god. <sighs> okay. Anyway. Need to go over this way. This Pierce? Yeah. Who's this? It's Eli. Pierce? Okay, what is my, uh... What about quest currently? Inform Eli and Pierce of your decision regarding his fate. Optional. Talk to the Chinese soldiers. Okay. Man, this is like a side quest, too. This isn't even the main quest of what I was doing over here. I get a... Should look around this area first, though. Okay. Yeah. See anything? All right. We're gonna have to find where the Chinese are. Talk to them. I don't see any like trenches. Did a bomb go off here? <laughs> but it must have clearly. I'm an American. That's yeah, Henry. Okay. So. Um. This is the trench. This is the American line. This is like the no man's land. Okay. Wow. Actually called no man's land. Lovely. I'm gonna just walk over here. Excuse me. Hello. Chinese. There you are. Hello. Are all outsiders smooth like you, outsider? Will be fun to see this when Americans listen to Bajia. Bajia is leave. talking to Americans we'll right now, so outsider. We are going to leave Dropping them out. if all goes well, see? It will be all good soon. Oh my god. Right, I haven't picked a lock yet. <laughs> a little left. There we go. And empty. Excellent. Okay. Said the guy might be in the back. Can't really talk to the uh, soldiers. They don't wanna. Your skin so smooth. It's so strange to see after seeing skin like ours so long. Glad I can just take their stuff and they don't care. It's very nice. Are all outsiders nope. like that? I cannot wait to see. He's remnant. He's remnant. I have to go into the cave back there. I'm guessing. All right, let's do that then. Into the cave. Hello, anyone home? Little trees there. Gas can. Ah, okay. I'm sure I'll have to do this for some point. I'm gonna go ahead and just take a couple of gas cans. Any more around here? No, just that way. Four more here, so let's go ahead and take that. And four. That should be all. Yep, okay. Oh, now I can't move. Of course. How heavy am I? Quite heavy, okay. Under miscellaneous, it is. Oh, yeah, okay. Drop one, drop two, drop overweight. <clears throat> of course. Well, real quick. I guess I can mod this stuff. Uh, my autogoss had a mod, right? Yep. Okay. 
pick up anything else that I can use real quick? No, I don't need this 9mm pistol. Oh, that didn't weigh anything. And the 10mm, I don't need that as well. There we go, okay. Well, where's the guy I'm supposed to talk to? Do they have any other buildings or anything around here? Hunting rifle. Foot lockers, medical stuff. We got a stem pack, thank you. A moleskin uh, rug, that's nice. No, no. I don't see anyone on a bed. Let me get up a bit further here. Maybe they're over there? Let me go through the trench real quick. This area up here. That's nothing. Maybe back this way? And that is a big no as well. Okay, well. Maybe they're further up, I guess. Maybe got tucked into the rear, though, so. You, sir? Oh, there you are. Hmm. Oh, dear. Strange looking American needs something from me. My leg is. Okay. Uh, I brought this letter. The soldier who shot me? Stupid man. Bad name. Why he sent letter? Hmm. I do not know how to read English. I need you. He's apologizing for shooting your leg. I thought it was an accident. No one kill each other a long time now. So, in no Okay. Delivered his letter. But that's still not the object the, the, the side objective, right? No, no, okay. I guess that was the side objective. There's no other, like, official I could talk to. Alright, well, I guess I'll go back and, uh, tell that guy that I <laughs> delivered his letter and then report to Eli and them. Read that side quest. Get over this. I can't. Maybe. I think that's him, right? That's Henry? No, that's just a red soldier. Okay. 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 Is that Henry? That's Henry. There we go. Yeah, come on. Jump, jump, jump over. That plane. Nice. Henry. I've been so anxious since you left. He said he hates your. <laughs> no. Um. He forgives you for shooting him. So he's going to be all right? Good. Oh, yeah, I got five pre war money. Cool, cool. All right, well. Do anyone want to sell stuff here? Look like it. I thought that this was like a shop, so I was like, oh, maybe I can, you know, sell some stuff. All right, let's report in. So I see you've heard about my latest heroic exploit. News travels fast out here. I'm not sure I like that. Loose lips sink ships, you know. What he's trying to say is somehow he has gotten it into his head that a smooth-skinned woman he ambushed and attacked is some kind of... Spy for the Chinese communist pigs. Uh. I caught that bitch snooping around our tents. She was even speaking that ching Changy language that they do. Sir... You made her bite her tongue when you punched her and tried to make her explain herself while her tongue was bleeding. She was babbling in pain. She was clearly speaking in a chingy changy language, and I will not have you argue with me on this point, Pierce. Honestly, I wonder about you. All right, so, uh, what, what? Mr. We Need to Talk over here thinks that I may have made a mistake in capturing this obvious Chinese spy. She won't talk to anyone, though. To be perfectly honest with you, I wouldn't talk to anyone either after you attacked her and started screaming in her face like a savage animal, sir. Whatever. What I need 
is for you to go and talk to her and see if she's of any danger to us. Make sure she doesn't slip into any of that chingy changy either. Just make sure she's not a threat so Eli here can calm down for once. If she's safe, then she can leave. Just let the guard know, alright? Is that... It's that easy to get out of there as a prisoner? This isn't the first time he's randomly accused someone of being a spy. He accuses a new soldier every day of being a communist. Sometimes twice. Like the same soldier twice in a day? Man. Wait. Alright. Ah, the jail's this way. Eight? Oh, at last, a real human! I mean, technically, Please, they're real humans, too. Will you help me get out of here? Uh, say, didn't we bump into each other at Old Fort Mormon in Freeside recently? I'm Kate. I came here about the research job. But those ghouls captured me and locked me in here. They're accusing me of being a Chinese spy. They're crazy. They want to kill me. Or worse. Please, will you help me get out of here? Is this the White Rabbit? Is that what this quest was? Yeah, they said I could release you if I wanted. Thank you. Can I follow you? I was blindfolded when they brought me in. Yeah, let's go find the exit. We're off to see. No. I'm taking her with me, alright. Alright, so I got this girl to follow me. Oh, I'll just tell Eli that she's not a spy. That the bangs want a truce. Ah, so, my scapegoat, uh, my wonderfully useful comrade has returned. Well, have we decided what we need to do with him yet? Let's see. Everyone wants to leave this place, Eli. Why don't you let this war end and let it go? What? I thought we had a deal, you smooth skinned, backstabbing bastard. You were supposed to help me kill him. Have you gone soft on me, too, outsider? I'm surrounded by cowards and weaklings. America is a strong country, and I refuse to let it die just because of some spineless fools. America, you remember, is long gone, Eli. Why don't you just let them start over? I could be the one who helps everyone start over? You mean, I would be the oh, no. hero in this story? Yes, yes, I can see it. I, I would be the one. <laughs> I'm such a genius. I knew it all along. I'm the hero that's going to get everyone out of here so we can explore this new America. Brilliant. This was my idea all along. You know? Okay, yeah. You played your part, sure. but in the end, it was my decision that everyone will remember, right? Yeah, you got it, Eli. <laughs> Pierce, tell that slitty bastard that he's free to go. We need to get ready to leave this place with those commies. I'm a hero, you know. <laughs> yep, okay. Okay, Eli. You're a hero. Thank you for your help, outsider. I suppose making him think that he's a... Hero is better than him causing us problems, right? Here, this is for you. Hey, stim packs. Ice. Inaccessible? Yeah. It was a funny thing. Alright, well, those ghouls are dealt with. So. Do that. Funny thing. Yeah, okay. I don't know what that quest was, the white bunny quest. White rabbit, whatever it is. Don't talk to me, dude. Yeah. I don't want to talk to him, actually. I am alive nope. because okay. of you. I, wish to make I thought he was going to, like, draw me into another side quest before I got to where I was going. Alright. Go to the doctor's lab. Also, both the Chinese and the Americans were just kind of ignoring this place. Entrance. Ah. Uh, it's shorter, and it's obviously not here. Ah, uh, well. There uh, used to be a path. Hold on. Okay, obviously I cannot go in there. Man, I would not have noticed this path if I was not, like, very, very obviously looking for one. Okay. I'm probably going all the way around the building, too, right? Uh, 
Oh no, it's right here. Okay. Ah, an enclave door hatch. To the mobile base command deck. We're off to see the wizard. No, stop no singing that. Him. Stop singing that, Kate. Vegas? Copyright, I come on. Your house is like a wizard. Look at me. I am the commander of this deck now. A big screen guy. All right. <clears throat> Moving right along. Is this the way out? Yeah. Full base armory level. Apparently there's no guards. No. The fact that there's no one here is a little bit concerning. Okay. All broken in. Anything for loot here? Hmm, that does not look good. Fleshy little bits down there. Inaccessible. Door is just here. Okay. Yep. Okay, that's mutilated body parts. <clears throat> Just to try this. Got. Can't take that. Weird that I cannot take that one. Okay. Broken laser rifle. We got a malfunctioning super sledge. I don't need a super sledge anyway. Any ammunition? Perfect. Oh, that's a lot of boxes. Anything in any of them? Nope. Thank God they just said that they're empty and not like. Let me check each one. Okay. Well, obviously, there's nothing down this way. We just need to go back towards the arrow. But I wonder if there's generators here, but I don't think I need to load them with fuel. What do I have these fuel canisters for? Oh, look, another armory. Got myself to some ammo. I said, even though there's no ammo inside of them. Okay. That's where I gotta go. Anything back here, though? No. Eight. Laboratory level. It's kind of strange that there's no guards here. A whole lot of nothing. A single 12 gauge round, huh? Oh, very useful door. Might as well just said inaccessible there. Oops. Well, I found an engine room. I don't need to go there yet, so I'm going to ignore that. I probably have to put fuel into it, I'm going to guess. You know what? I'm actually going to... Uh, over here just in case since uh the fuel does weigh so much and there was four of them in there which pretty much put me at my max weight i'm gonna go ahead and just put that in there just in case i lose all my stuff that way in the event that they uh, do take all my stuff and i can't get it back and they need me to use the fuel canisters i can just be like uh, so. I'll be waiting right here. Anyway, so the fuel can will be there, even if it gets, like, taken from my inventory or something. I don't want to bitch it. Okay. I guess this is where I needed to take her. You go on ahead first. I'll be waiting right here. Why? Why would you be waiting right here? Why here, of all places? Open door. Hello? Hello, I'm Dr. Dr. Fabler. Have you come in response to our ad? I must say you look like the ideal candidate. Strong and healthy. Very good. Enter through the red door to find your first experimental weapon. I'll give you further instructions once you have it. 
Oh boy, this is gonna be a thing in it. Hey sir. You don't look much like a scientist with your uh your suit. Oh boy. Yeah. I have a very bad feeling about this. Anything to say? No? You go on ahead first. Okay. I'll be waiting right here. Okay, experimental weapon. The weapon appears to be glued to the table. I say this each time, and yep. each time I mean it. I truly am sorry. Sometimes sacrifices must be made in the name of science and the greater good. Indeed, many have died in my attempts to find a cure for South Sam syndrome. But in the end, it will be worth their lives for the lives of many more. Now it's time to rest, brave soul. Don't try to fight it. <gasps> Sir, I knew this was going to happen. Of course, that's why she uh, stayed behind, too. And. I knew I was going to lose all my shit. I always take my stuff away from me. Oh, hey, there she is. Kate's over there in the... Oh, so you got captured too, huh, Kate? You don't look so hot. Maybe you should ask for a glass of water or something. Some people don't cope with pressure very well, huh? I don't feel too good. I think I was injected with something. So what? They infected me too. You don't see me breaking a sweat. I'm gonna punch this lady well, in the face. Well, I guess you do look pretty sick. Maybe I'm immune. It might explain why I'm not dead like the others. Tough luck for you, though, I suppose. I'm gonna punch her in the face. Don't worry, though. I'm sure you'll be going to a better place. If you believe all that, try to stay positive, you know? Okay. Any idea what's going on? Well... A few days ago, I saw some unusual military types and some old guy with a red baseball cap. I heard them mention Colorado. They're a long way from home, if that's where they're from. I can't say I have any idea what's going on here. I'm so gonna blow this place up. Yep. Yeah, I'm, I'm not talking uh -oh. anymore. Uh-oh. I think your number is up, buddy. One of those lab coats is coming over. Good luck in there. I'll light a fuse in your memory. Well, I guess it's kind of a passing time escort, now Kate, for here, your huh? treatment. You look worried. You shouldn't. I'm feeling rather optimistic. This time, the cure will work. I just know it. I never expected to find Marie. All these years I'd spent trying to formulate a cure, and there it was in her blood, a natural one. All my hard work rendered meaningless when nothing but random fortune presented the answer. It just makes me feel useless. A cure for what? The Seltzam syndrome is a deadly disease that's claimed hundreds of lives over the years, particularly in Colorado. It's now believed to be contained in one particular facility, the Boulder Dome, thanks to the barbarous NCR, who've been executing any carriers. I mean, it sounds like they're doing the right thing by killing people who have this deadly disease rather than letting them roam free. What's the Boulder Dome? Actually, I couldn't say for certain. There are rumors it was built before the Great War to be the supreme fallout shelter, a city of the future. They say only the elite of society went there, sort of like an ark to withstand the nuclear attacks, but I don't really know if that's true. Nothing more to say to you. Okay, then. Hold still for just a moment. How dare he? I guess he probably can't hear me. Stuck in that cold coffin like a pack of chicken fingers. But it's a long drive, and I've got a story to tell. I suppose you've never been to Boulder. We don't get many visitors. For years, the Legion and the NCR flat out avoided the place. It's a toxic hellhole. The real bottom of the barrel. Even the ghouls find it too spicy. <laughs> Doesn't surprise me there's been a plague leaking out of the place. The Seltzam Syndrome. Very nasty. I've seen people with the virus. 
They make the Pharaohs look like pinup girls. But seriously, it's a sad state of affairs. The NCR didn't even give a shit until the damn thing came knocking on their doors. Now they come in, all guns blazing, like a bunch of idiots. At least the Brotherhood is being human about the whole thing. A human life is still a life, even when it's barely recognizable. Now everyone's making a fuss about this damn dome in the heart of shit city. The place has been locked up tight since long before I was born. Ain't nobody getting in there. Might as well just forget about it. I've met a few over the years, wanting to get inside. Now they're just a few more ferals chewing each other's guts up. Better to stay well away, kid. All right. Congratulations. You're the first to be cured of Seltzum Syndrome. It truly is a miracle. I have been waiting a long time for this day. You should feel honored. You've done a great service for mankind. Many lives will be spared. Thanks to your participation. I thank you. I am sorry the Nevada scientists deceived you. It was without my knowledge. Rest assured, they will be dealt with in the appropriate manner. Finding the cure is only the first part of the battle. Will you assist me further in bringing order and peace to Boulder? What do you want me to do? I even know who are you? Okay. The man who transported you here was injured during the journey. He fled up into some caves further down the valley. I need you to find him. The formula for the cure was missing from the wreckage. According to one of the Nevada scientists, it was placed in the driver's bag. I need it back. So did they like transport this cryo chamber? From the wreckage. And now they're like, hey, go, uh, go get this. At least they have my weapons. What's the point of the jerry cans with fuel in them? Okay. Well. Hello, Penny. Hello, I'm Dr. Anderson, the medical officer here. But you can call me Penny. It's good to see you defrosted and up and about. You're part of history now, you know. You're the first human to be cured of the Selton Syndrome. Without knowing it, you've done the impossible. Or the seemingly impossible, but not anymore. It's a shame the NCR abandoned their research so early when progress was just around the corner. So, what can I do for you? Um, apparently, I just know the Brotherhood. Okay. You're right. The Brotherhood are very selective, to say the least, when it comes to membership. Times have been tough for us here in Boulder. They wanted to tap into any resources they could to gain any edge over the NCR. They took to recruiting the most useful civilians in the area. My advanced medical expertise ensured I was one of the first on the list. I'm happy here. I've more than proved my worth and loyalty. And besides, they couldn't exactly manage without a medical expert. The soldier who was filling in for medic could barely put a band-aid on. How ridiculous. I don't know what they'd have done if I hadn't come along. Okay, cool. Bye. Have you recovered the form? Not yet. Return to. Okay. Good talk. Talk to field. I can't, I can't waste even a minute engaging in small talk. I'll go ahead and take those advanced radiation suits, sirs. Thank you. I feel like I will need it. Space suit? Okay, hold on. Space suit, rad resistance 40. Same thing. Space suit's better, obviously. We'll keep the space suit. Can I wear the helmet? Nope, okay. On the ground it goes. Oh, oh god, those are all pre war books. Okay, well, I was not expecting them to be real. Done. What else we got here? God, oh, that's Elder again. Who's this guy? You. 
try not to touch anything in here, please. I'm quite busy at the moment calibrating the feral implants. It's very precise work. Requires attention. Indeed. It's endless work as well. As soon as I make these changes, Dr. Franco will have additional ones. <laughs> oh, well. Anyway, what can I do for... Anything I can do to help? Dr. Franco could probably use your assistance if you haven't spoken to him already. Our ferals have been going missing, it seems. You'll find him... Okay. I'll be going. Interesting. Uh... Like a glowing one, right? Activate experimental... Nope, nothing here. Okay. Well, that's a thing. What about this door? Into the hallway? Yes. Warning toxic material. Oh. I see. Percent surgeon's outfit, stim packs, medics, medical supplies, medical cabinet. What's in the medical cabinet? Nothing important. Okay. See ya, Elder. All right, so we're in a brotherhood complex of some sort. There was an uh, barracks back there, but the care this particular moment. I'm out of barracks. Oh, read note: door does not open from the outside. Oh, so let's just put a brick in it. Keep it open. Fire's key, of course. All right. So the voice acting seems to have gotten a lot better. Uh here than what it was when uh, we were in the Chinese place with the, the people in the, the obviously fake Chinese accents and stuff. Like, some of these guys could even be like professional voice actors. Like, damn. All right, well, I could go this way, but I don't think I want to go that way yet. Let's see. I want me to come out this way on purpose, right? So... The only way I can go is out this way, huh? No other, like, gradual slope down or anything? Okay. I guess we're stumbling down this mountain for some reason? What? what? That makes no sense. Why would they have me go down here? Seriously, what? Okay. We're just going to do this. Yeah, careful. Careful. Don't break your kneecaps. Okay. Easy peasy. Oh, like a protectron corpse. Get at the Boulder Junkyard. Is that a magazine? Nope, just the uh, extra. Oh, what a fancy little car. Hello, anyone here? The uh, hatch to catacombs, huh? Catacomb. I'm interested. Let's take a look. What's this? A Goss Rifle Compact. New gun? To me, anyway. Got a tin can of scrap metal here. Oh, go. Sale Home Weekly. Tells of Junk Town Jerky Finger. Hell yeah. This is literally just like a, a junk lover's like wet dream right here. I want to look at that gun. Uh, what was it again? The uh... Gauss Rifle Compact. Interesting. How much damage does it do? 63! Not bad! God dang! Okay. Got a fire axe here. Boxing gloves. Safe that I cannot open. Already open safe. Hunting rifle, magnet revolver, pipe, machete. Picked up that gun by accident. A brush gun, but it's broken. Oops, that. Come on, button. What else we got back here? Cool bar. Hey, you, uh, you good? Little dog cat thing? Emaciated cat. Oh my god, that's fucking disgusting. Animal sniffs your hand but recoils in fear, trying to make 
uh, trying to leave it, trying to leave makes it cry. And commands make it snort. Despite its skittishness, it seems too weak to leave the carcass of the guards. If you had a better understanding of its species, maybe you could help it. That means found an animal carcass. Most of this cat has been eaten. The remains ear. The remaining ear is marked with a series of blurry numbers, and what's left of the pelt has spots. Okay. <laughs> so, what is this quest I just got? Cats in the crater. Recruit a cat expert. Oh boy. Well, nothing else here. I guess I got a gun out of it, if nothing else. I'll have to find a cat expert to come back here, though. Where was the entrance? Right over here. Okay. Look at the map. Okay. Not a, not a bad size, although there's not a whole lot of uh, locations. A couple locations here, a couple locations here, and a couple over here. The Brain Center. Older Military Research Center. Very scrapyard. Shack Town. Ranger Station. Stop. Got Nova Industries. Cave Tunnels. Inner Boulder. And Nova Industries. Again? Okay. Boulder Dome. Boulder Underground. And Outer Boulder. Oh. Huh. I guess let's get out of the junkyard first of all. Huh. Now we'll just head towards the quest marker. That's Shack Town, I think. Get a little closer to market on the map, shall we? Oh, mutant cannibals. That's that's just lovely. Okay. Well, I don't know what sound I was expecting them to make, but it was not that. Is that twenty-two? No, that's not that. That's okay. Hit him. Then let's hit him. And then let's hit him. Wreck. Hit wreck. God dang. That is just insane. Red candle meat. Yeah, I'm not taking that. Who supposes up here? Did another exit for the uh Yeah, I think there's another exit for that Brotherhood bunker. Do I have a marker for that Brotherhood bunker, by the way? I do not. Sucks. How am I gonna go back there? There's a little follow quest marker. Well, let's investigate Shack Town before uh anything else happens, shall we? Tin can. Do I have a silenced weapon right now? I can smell flesh. Oh fuck! It scared the hell out of me. God damn. I think this is silenced. I need nerves. Yeah, he just blew up to bits. Come on, come at me. Got him. Easy peasy. Did I not make my stim packs be a... Okay, there we go. Stim packs is now slotted to eight. Excellent. All right, go to the shack. Let's see what we got. Ammunition, always good. 
briefcase with a coffee mug in it. Keith? Uh, sir, do you realize that there's a bunch of cannibals outside? Oh, are you a cannibal? One of those things? No. Oh, of, of course not. You'd be eating me by now. Well, what are you? Come closer. Let me take a good look at you. All right, I can't see shit. Listen, help an old man out, eh? I need someone to check on Derek. He went to the other small shack outside like this one. There's like a dozen of those, dude. Wait a minute. That isn't you, Derek, is it? Uh, no. Old man have dementia? No, you would have said something. Derek has been gone for some time. Those things are everywhere. Why, me and Derek were the only survivors. Those things went and ate everybody up, ate them for dinner. With okay. He's the only friend I have left. You find him, and there will be a reward in it. Yes, I've got pure water and fresh pear. The poor fella. He can't see a thing. Must have gotten lost coming back. <laughs> We're the only two left, you know. All right, all right, I'll find him. Just Thanks. Calm down, man. I suppose the radiation turns some folks into cannibals. They live. Okay. Good talk, sir. Good talk. Find Derek. Different amount of things here to check out. I suspect Derek is not a human. I can't go in there, apparently. I feel like Derek's going to be like an imaginary friend or a like dog or something. Hello? Anybody? Huh? Yep, they're home. Come at me. Come on. Oh, God. What? Uh, hello there. These things are creepy. I don't like them. Get away. Didn't one go back in here? Was the one that like, was all up in me? Like, really? Like, did he come from here? Just like, zoom right into me? What the hell? Anyway, what else do I got for guns? Oh, I keep hitting that button. Use this for a bit. There's empty crates. The uh, people who made this game, or this mod, they uh, really appear to like cluttering things up, huh? Bunch of caps. Oh, this has a lot of food in it. Damn. Can I actually move that crate? Really? I can move the crate that I can open? Time bomb? Okay, nope. Not better than to deal with those. All ammunition. What do we got here? Never any of that. There. Oh my god. This is like a scavenger's like wet dream. E4 plastic explosives, huh? You don't say. I want to take them all because it never hurts to have fun stuff like that around, right? All right and now, I drink all the sunset sarsaparilla. I did not mean to use the stim pack, that was my bad. All right, anything else up here? Or Sunset Sarsaparilla. God dang. Who puts empty bottles back in crates? How rude is that? Okay, well, I had a couple more, so. Here we go. Hey, I got a couple of star caps out of that. All right, well, nothing here. I 
at the other shacks quick. Or maybe they were all gathered down here eating Derek? I don't know. Doesn't look like it. Anybody home? Jesus okay, listen here, y'all. All right. Mm -hmm. That's weird. What else we got? Just a bunch of wooden crates this time, huh? Refrigerator? Nothing. Well, this gun's not helpful. Try out the M1 Garen. Excuse me? Oh, they're coming from the cave, huh? Hold still. Let me take off. Didn't realize I was out of the uh, thing there. Okay, hold on. I can't sprint. Hold on. Uh, option three. Let's go. I need an automatic. Oh my god, they do a lot of damage. Get out of here. Damn cannibals. All right. Well, I can see now why they were like, hey, maybe you want to be level 20. Okay, what should we level up now? Um, I feel science would be good to level up. Let's get that to 80. Level up, block picking to 5. But I want to increase... Maybe medicine, since we're dealing with like plagues and stuff. Okay, let's see. What else we got down this way? Remember spirit, eye for an eye. Ah, uh, boy. Hmm. Do you suppose they count as this? Do they count as like feral ghouls, death claws, spore carriers, this kind of thing? Oh, I guess it's just unarmed damage anyway. Matter. Center of math. That's skill. That doesn't really matter. Math wrath. Able to reduce AP cost of bullet time and stuff. Finesse. Fighting power. Terrifying presence. Quick draw. Cybernetic. That doesn't matter. Vigilant recycler. Hand loader. Gunslinger. Curious loyalty. Comprehension. Animal. Yeah, let's not get cannibal. Man, there's so many just like worthless perks. Let's get intense training. Because I would like to increase my strength a little bit so I can actually run with my weapons out. Otherwise it uh Okay. Okay. Cannibals. There's only one in here this time. Ooh, sexy sleepwear. Huh, Derek's actually a guy, huh? I'll take your caps and your ammunition. Serve me well. That's a shame. I'll go tell the old man that he uh, lost a friend. Yo, old man, your friend's dead. But do you know things about cats? Well, what now? Yeah, he's dead. No, no, no. I've told Derek he couldn't see shit. Shouldn't be stumbling about out there. Now he's... Here's your water and fruit, like I told you. 
Okay. You're gonna just stay here, old man? Okay, yeah, you're just gonna stay there. I didn't get any experience for that quest, though, so kind of kind of pisses me off a little bit there. How close is that quest marker? Not quest marker, land up. Ranger station. Oh, all the way up there. Uh, something tells me I'm not going to be able to get up there very easily. And this place is just like caverns and... Is Boulder, Colorado's like landscape like this, or what? I don't like it. So far down now. Imagine if like a heavy rain just starts. Man, this is how you die going around in these kind of cavern things. I can't even aim like that. Nope. Not the AP for that. Die, please. Thank you. Okay. <clears throat> I think I'm running low on stim packs too, aren't I? Yep. You guys hit a lot harder than I was expecting them to. Incidentally, let me uh, do a quick save here. I would like to switch my guns up a little bit since that uh, cost rifle seems to do a lot. Which one was my revolver? Yeah, the hunting revolver sucks. Let's replace it with uh, the Gauss rifle. It actually did a lot of damage. Such a nice gun. Oh man, I love it. Go up here quick. Red marker up here. Where did it go? See anything? Mm hmm. Wait. Oh. That's right, you're wrecked. Oh, it was this mutant cat I saw first, and then. Okay, yeah, no. <clears throat> hmm. I know I'm not going in the right direction anymore, but how do I even get up here? I'd like to see if I can get up on that ranger station. I didn't see any pathways up that way. It's gonna be possible, never mind. I don't feel like walking around for half an hour to get up there. We'll just keep going this way. I'm looking for a cave, right? Is that another cat corpse? Bruh. Number of them. Oh, dang. Good job, kitty. You know, do you think the ranger station has someone who knows about cats? I guess that's my way up. Craptastic. Uh. Is it misfiring? Oh my god. Is it like too close for me to hit? His gun on a. Kind of weird. Okay, well. Can I wait and regenerate health? <clears throat> Doesn't look like it. Nope. Get a bed. Okay, well. I don't want to use any more stim packs than I have to. So let's just hold on for now. Look out for any mutants. That's my, uh. My way out. 
where I'm heading anyway. Let's do a quick save and enter the cave. Something about a guy in a red. Oh. Uh huh. Stay back. What do you want? Friendly. You've messed with the wrong man on the wrong day. Did I? Oh, wait. It's you. You're that frozen chicken finger I've been lugging about. You look different, defrosted. More ugly. They should put you back in. I'm, I'm just messing with you. Lighten up. But since you're here, I could use your help. I dropped my gear down that dark pit over there. You know what's coming next, right? But be careful down there. This place is crawling with those freaks. Those cannibal creatures. How did you drop I'll tell pack? you what. Bring me my pistol and leather. You can keep the rest. There's over 400 caps in that bag. Buy yourself something nice. If you live. Look for the documents transported with me. Oh, I figured they were just some legal documents you signed. What, with being frozen alive and all? They're in my bag. Okay. Having the journey from Nevada. Well... My truck had a bit of an accident, you see. Car tunnel caved in on us. Broke my leg pretty bad. But still managed to lug myself into this cave. Uh-huh. How? Where was this tunnel at? It all started with my great-great-grandfather. He buried a lot of gasoline during the resource wars. Left a map okay. where my father took me. Um. Any weapons? Take this shotgun. That's... Broken shotgun melee. What? Okay. I'll be back soon. What 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 did he just give me? A shotgun uses a melee weapon, huh? Do I have a melee weapon? I don't think I do. Alright. I'll use I'll hold on to that for now. In case I manage to run out of all my ammunition somehow. What? He even set up a rope. How did he lose his pack down here? Yeah, this thing actually fired pretty quick. Okay, never mind. Looks like I need to aim a little bit lower than I expect to actually get these bastards. Oh my god, they just keep coming. Okay, we done? Any more want to come and play? How did this wagon get down here? Anything in the wagon? That's something in the wagon. What is that? The uh, caravan shotgun. 12 gauge round, you can keep the shotgun itself. Thank you. Book. A uh, random pre war book, okay. Oh, that was a dead body. Good. All right, moving on. The light. All right, moving on. There. I'm just gonna shoot at the ground to kill him with this. Okay. Good to know at least. You're hitting the wall. Crap. Oh, Crap. Shit. All right. Damn little golem monster creature things. A lot of stuff around here, huh? Human remains. Oh, I did not mean to pick those up. Our human remains in the aid. That's arm papers. Mickey's gear. Wanted his pistol, I'll grab that for him and his leather armor. Gear formula. Okay. I believe that's everything that I needed. Clear the other end of this tunnel just to be safe. Because I also want to uh, get experience where experience can be gained. You know how it is. Here's the dead end. Excellent. Man, when the, the AP runs out, it's just all of a sudden 360. Okay. 
more of those cannibals coming out, are they? Nope. All right. Up and up we go. Oh. I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die. Well, Mickey, I guess that's what you get for sending me to my death, huh? Tacoma Park Little Leaguer Cat. Message from Stu. Oh, I'm gonna drop his damn armor then. Oh, my uh, duster appears to be dead. Well, I guess I have to wear that now. What about his pistol? I'm gonna drop that. And he had a letter, right? It's under data miscellaneous. And I think we can crash. Nope, okay, we're good. Hey, Mickey, glad we found this message, okay? Knew you'd look here. Had some trouble with metalheads coming back to Colorado. Had to take an alternate route in. All turned out to be a dead end, and I'm out of gas. Had to leave the truck. I'll tell you how to find it. Near the old military bunker, where we saw the white ants, where the smoking pits are, out in the waste, there's a path leading to a bay and a junk trader's yard. You know the guy. You have a... Have a you'll have to swim through the cave tunnel there, and you'll find your truck. Sorry to leave you on your own, pal. I gotta take another line of work. Damn metalhead shot my leg to shit anyway. Gonna cut this short. I'm heading up to Pioneer Cafe in the city. Wanna catch up? Stay sharp, my friend. So does that mean I can get a car here? Of course. Chuck on Derek. Man named Keith. Blah. Okay. Simple as that. Burnt rubber. Okay. Game crashed. Okay. <clears throat> the baby up again oops that's fallout 3 that's fallout 3 hold on hold up four aha one momento one fall in new vegas so it should be just as i came up out of that area so i'm gonna have to kill those damn cannibals again Yes. Yes. Oh no. Apparently I saved right before this, huh? Okay. Got everything off him, right? Yeah, and I dropped his pistol. Excellent. That looked like he was just hunched over and I was like, eh. What are you doing, mate? Okay. So he said it was through a cave, right? There's the junkyard, so is there a cave tunnel there? I don't know. Do not know. Man, this is a hell of a map. Damn. Okay, well. Yeah. I don't really see a way. I mean, you know, I'm going to wait a little bit. Uh, what time is it? Midnight? Let's go till 8. I'd like to be a little bit lighter out. I'd like to see if I can get a scope of the land here at least. Okay, good enough. All right. So yeah, we got nothing over there. This is all sheer cliff that I can't climb up, unfortunately. Pretty sure if I fall from here, I'm dead. So I have to find a, a steep place to go down at. This should work. Ah, ah of course gun away and just start running let's go do, do, do. i had more uh stamina not stamina i swear i heard uh the, the battle music kick on for a second there it scared the hell out of me okay well going up there right now does not matter just keep going this way Oh, look, green goo from the one I killed. Nice. 
So yeah, while comparing this to the previous uh, total conversion mods that we have played, it does seem that uh, this one has a, a good balance of when we're roaming out around, we're finding things that are wanting to kill us, right? Not just us uh, roaming around an empty area. And when we get close to something, we see stuff. Like we encountered a bunch of cannibals in places that there weren't even landmarks, right? That's kind of cool compared to uh, the Alton, Illinois, on where there was like nothing and we'd walk for miles. But here it makes sense, I guess, because I killed the things. So they're not going to respond as well. Go. Okay, well, can I get up here? Go. Going. I'm just going to go down this hill here. Cat, is that a ghoul? Hell, there's a trailer park over there? Hold on, do I have my sniper on one of the buttons? Or bloat flies, it looks like. So there's some ghouls down there, or at least there were. I don't know where they wandered off to. I think I can get up there and onto there. And then that seems to be the path up to the ranger station. Hmm. If I look down this way, mountain rest stop is right there. Yeah. Okay. How are those guys? These steps going up that way. I guess that's the area I need to go to get back into it, perhaps. We just carefully get down here. Okay, perfect. Not without smashing my legs up too bad. Let me just look down this way quick. Just a rock, not a bunker entrance. Okay. Those look like scribes, right? Not sure if I need to go up or not. I want to see if I can talk to these scribes. See if they got anything for me. Just listen carefully, young. I'll speak slowly so your tiny brain can process it. Enter the serial numbers and scan the frequencies again. Young, you something to say? Franco! I don't know why I bother sometimes. It can be frustrating trying to educate the simple-minded like poor Mr. Young here. Wet between the ears. I give him the smallest task of simply monitoring a few docile ghouls. And his small mind couldn't handle it. One is missing. Yet again. I know I entered the right serial. The scanner shows it's not in the area. Someone must have taken him. Nonsense! Who in their right mind would approach a feral? If you had been monitoring the frequencies like I told you, this would have never happened. Oh, own up to it for once, boy. Stop whining and shaking all the time like a little baby and be a man. Enter the code again, goddammit. Have some trouble? Trouble? I don't know. Hey, Mr. Young. Are we having trouble? Yes, Mr. Young here is in a lot of trouble. Even a chimpanzee could do his job. But it's too much for his poor sapling mind to monitor a few signals. It's too much, but he's a trier. And God loves a good trier, they say. Indeed. Uh, we've lost the signal on another feral. That's three now. Which means it must have wandered out of range right under Mr. Young's nose here. I can help you find them some barrels. <laughs> you could. Well, I'll believe it when I see it. But by all means, you can try. Just try better than Young here, will you? Here, you can take these. These are the last received coordinates of the third missing feral. Search the area for clues as to its whereabouts. Report back here if you find them. Huh? Ah. Guess that's gonna take place in this area. So, before we go that way, I would uh, like to turn in this quest just in case there's other areas I have to go around here. Okay, go up there. This path, what the hell? 
Where am I even going? Yeah. This is just add texturing. Okay, I'm just gonna toggle collision and see where the heck I'm going here. Where am I going? It wants me to go back up. No, it's pointed to the junkyard. What? Hold on, let me let me let me just sit down here for a second. Over here, down to here, and it, it's pointing me into here. A hash to a catacombs, huh? Okay, and now it. Uh... Point me this way, I guess. I guess I completely missed this before. What? Hey! Hey! What? The hell? He just handed me a random thing and just wandered off, I guess. Okay. What, uh... What does that say? Message contains coordinates and data of the following. You don't know what you got yourself into, Courier. Brotherhood cannot be trusted. Life is in danger. Please come meet me at once. Follow the coordinates to our camp in the Colorado Waste. Sincerely, Captain James Despot. Guessing NCR. Okay. Last resort. Okay, whatever. Moving on. Kind of strange that the... Uh, and see, our messenger was just right outside the Brotherhood compound, without anyone guarding it. Elevator up. Okay. Hello there, Initiate. What's the paladin in the Back into here. Well, let's go down this way, I guess. Okay. Building tip. Elder. Have you recovered the form? Yeah, I have. The driver was killed by cannibals. That is a tragedy. He did a great service for the Brotherhood. At least he didn't die in vain. We have the cure at last. I have your next assignment if you're ready. Sure. For years, we have been gathering the Feral Ones from the irradiated areas of Colorado, engineering them for a greater cause. Yeah. In so doing, we've been able to control them, to use them to recon the Boulder Dome. We get a few hours of intel before they turn Feral once more. Ordinary humans, even with advanced radiation suits, cannot last but minutes in Boulder due to the intense radiation there. We found evidence that a scientist has recently left the dome and fled into some underground caverns beneath Boulder. We believe he may be in possession of access codes, which will enable you to enter the dome. Mm. Once inside, I have an offer I wish you to extend to the scientists. Tell them the Brotherhood has a real cure for the Seltzum Syndrome. We will share the cure in exchange for the total assimilation of the Boulder Dome into the Brotherhood of Steel. Do what you can to convince them. I know that time is running out for the scientists, so they have little choice but to submit themselves to... Okay. The Brotherhood has Boulder's best interests in mind. I will rule it with a fair hand and bring peace to Colorado. It must not be allowed to fall into the hands of the corrupt NCR. Be cautious if you cross their path. Their captain is a foolish, unstable man. We've devised a prototype environmental armor which should protect you from the radiation while in Boulder. You're the first to use it. Awesome. Spend Don't be worried, though. I have complete confidence in this suit. It's the product of many years' work. Collect it from Dr. Field. I'd also advise you to study our research and history logs on the terminals, so that you're familiar with the situation in Boulder. Good luck to you. 
Okay. Uh, Elder Field, Dr. No, Field's no. gonna have his stuff. We don't need to do introductions, or any other pleasantries or small talk. You don't have to do all that with me. I like to get straight to the point. Stay on the point and leave on the point. No hello, goodbye, or how's your uncle? It's all nonsense to me. You know, I gotta get into the point right now. Aha, uh -huh, quite right. Shall we continue then? Let's continue. Continue. This is the environmental armor. It is a prototype created by myself. It is the product of hours of hard labor and scientific breakthrough. I will not waste time trying to explain how or why it works. The advanced theory would turn the average mind into a... Sure. Suffice it to say, this armor will protect you in Boulder. You may not need it inside shelter, but you must wear it at all times when outside. To take it off would mean a slow and painful death, so don't do it. One would think that radiation would have died down after 200 years. One might think that, but not a scientific mind. Upon closer inspection, it's not normal radiation. Clearly, it's the result of some chemical weapon. Look what you've done. We've diverged again. Life is too short for that. Scientific discovery can take decades, and we can't waste even a minute. Now let me get back to my work. You have your protective suit, so go and use it. Thanks. Um, I told Hi. What's it look like, though? The environmental armor. Of course, I'm over encumbered now. One does. Oh, this actually looks pretty badass. Okay. Go ahead and drop a space suit. Leather armor. And, uh. Hell, drop a leather duster. I don't need that anymore. Wait, they did not have a helmet? Oh, no one's got a helmet. Okay. I guess I can just wear a helmet while wearing that. Let's sleep in the bed for an hour to regain the little health that I had lost. And uh, while we're here, why don't we check out the Brothers of Steel Barracks? Why not? Paladin Roach. I didn't say. That requires a key. No one else in here. Oh, no. Hello there. Rowley. Okay, bye. I guess he's just mad I woke him up. Whatever. Cafeteria, a lot of stuff here today. All for the taking. If I cared about food. This is a little bit of a fancier uh money. Trunk, huh? Bottle caps? I care about those two bottle caps. I'm not armor for that nonsense. A couple of flowers, I guess. What's this? Reading glasses. Nothing else really down here, huh? Okay, so it is just a bit of a barracks. I just require a key. I just want to take a peek inside. Strange. I guess there's blood in here. Is that why? I'm cleaning it or something? Vision back on. Okay. And this is just that cryogenic area. All right, cool. So, not a whole lot of uh, stuff here, is there? I just need to back up the way I cannot go out of again. Excellent. All right, let's look at the quests. So our choices are to cover access codes for the dome, meet with the NCR captain, and investigate the ferals. So I think we'll do the ferals first here. Paladin. Barrel should be pretty close. Then we can uh, increase our dance even more by leveling up. Hey, look, it's a rail car from uh, the other mod we were doing. Interesting. Also, I had a... Uh... What is this? <laughs> I can't tell if it's music or... I'm gonna leave it on. A little bit of ambiance, you know? 
have some innocent feral ghoul. Mm -hmm. Got a vault suit from vault 34. Yeah, I saw some stairs over here. Let's go up this way. I'm assuming we'll have to go higher up in order to actually get to the bottom of this. Ah, get it? I don't get it. Don't even worry. All right, moving on. Oh, that's so gross. There was a couple more around here. One. Got it. Oh, it's empty. Okay. Float fly, right? Nasty. Thing in here does not look like it. There either. Mr. Farrell Ghoul? Hmm. Medical supplies. I will always take additional stim packs. Anything here, I wonder? It's like a weird path up here. Nope. Nothing. I was curious if maybe this was like a tunnel that I could swim through, like it, it mentioned in the, the book there, you know? Or that one note about that. these panda roots. Okay. It was possible to get up to the ranger station from right there was the windy, windy path. Go up further, but let's take a look here quick. This is the place I saw before. Jack. Door book, energy cells. Those. Man. Damn, man, you live like this? Or I guess you lived like this. Dead now. Plasma Defender. I hate that gun. The energy cells. Thank you. Cool. A lot of garbage on the ground here. Foot locker. Huh. One says sarsaparilla. And a star bottle cap, too. Alright. Nothing here, huh? Okay. Anything out this way, though? Nope, doesn't look like it. Well, I guess we'll continue just back up the mountain, then. So whoever's taking the feral ghouls must be part of the ranger station. Closer and closer. Well, we're here. Nice little overview of the... Where was... Where... Hmm. I think on that ledge is where the Brotherhood's at, right? Higher up. I get up to that little crow's nest area. To go around this way, maybe? I don't think I can. Nope. I think I have to jump from the other uh, side here. Let me just uh, this. 
Can I even jump up that way? Can I sprint jump? I cannot. Huh. Come on, come on, come on. There we go. Come on, a little more. Oh, ho, ho, ho. of course, nothing. Never know what kind of loot they might be hiding. Fire's a key. Oh, there's an intercom. You don't sound like a ghoul. If you don't have a ghoul, go away. What do you want ghouls for? Important scientific research. And maybe a bit of poking and prodding. She trying to fuck ghouls? Let's see. Despite being a human, you're obviously vital to the project. Why couldn't I contribute? I'm gonna use intelligence. You have no idea how often wannabe treasure hunters try to pick our lock. It's great to meet someone who actually gives a damn about the future. Crick will fill you in on what we're doing. Okay. Just like that, we usually gain access. Moo? What is it? Uh, goodbye, Take I guess. Who are these randos? Cutting apart ghouls, man. And now I kill them and take their stuff. Little bonsai tree. Listen to door. You hear the sounds of feral ghouls and people. Oh. Do you need something? Uh. Yeah, about those ferals. What else is there to say? Um. The brotherhood's tracking you, and once they catch you, they'll erase you and all your progress. Shit! 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 Moo said they wouldn't miss one or two. Let's just keep this quiet, then I'll have Moo take them back. Moo, I need you to take Alice and Bob back before the Brotherhood catches us with them. But they don't want to go back. They followed me home. I know, I know. But we can't afford to lose what little knowledge we've gained from them. Fine. Followed me home. Do you need something? I'm good. Cricket, anything else I can talk Do to you, you about? Need something. What are you doing? Imagine that dear old grandpa has wandered off, forgetting every face he's ever seen and everything he's ever known, even how to talk. He's hungry, alone, and scared. He doesn't know what he'll eat or what might eat him. Is it any wonder when one of the neighbor kids loses a face? Now, envision a center where he can be rehabilitated in peace and flushed clean of radiations. A luring glow. A hop skip and a decade later, he hugs you hello and with tears in his eyes says, I could sure go for one of your famous apple pies, Jerry. Uh, is this supposed to be the center we're talking about? Someday, I hope. Pinpointing the exact conditions that cause ghouls to develop feral aggression has been discouraging. Okay. Well, bye. Well, I kind of want to pick that lock and see you guys got in there. Was oh, this supposed to be like a a graveyard? Come on, Bob. You too, Alice. Time to go back. Hi, Alice. Bob. So they had one bed here, and another one was there. Okay, real quick. Light off. Just her. I could figure out a little bit. You know what I'm saying? Come on. For me. Stop looking at me, lady. I'm trying to pick your lock here. Hmm, fine. Whatever's in is probably not worth dealing with them. Wasting the bullets. Oh boy, okay. Uh, uh, I just kind of shimmy around here. Nope. Then I just, uh, ah, oh, this is going to suck. Oop. Ah, it hurt less than I thought. That didn't even hurt. Nice. All right. Ghoulification because they absorb too much radiation and rots their brains. Or that the, uh, Human mind just cannot process so much information. And, uh, 
because it kind of shuts down after a couple hundred years. Something like that. Maybe my guess, anyway. Seems to make some sort of logical sense, right? Okay. Go back up and report to them. And complete this quest. God, I love the anti machiro rifle. Such a beautiful weapon. Found well, well, you've returned. Looks like someone is reliable. What do you think, Mr. Young? Uh, yes. Very reliable. That's good. So, tell me, what have you found out? Speak up now. Let's see. I know where your feral ghouls went. Oh, do you know? I'll humor you then. Where are they? Ghouls were abducted by a ghoul named Cricket, but she's agreed to stop. Oh, she agrees to stop, does she? <laughs> well, that makes it all better, then. <laughs> oh, all right, all right. I can't let petty quabbles interfere with my research. Uh, I suppose I can look the other way this time. Here's a little something for your trouble. Now let me get back to work. Excellent. Better level up from that. No. God, it takes so much experience to level up at this point. Okay. Well. I don't even know what this is anymore. Okay. We have the rest stop. Let's go for that real quick. Just to kind of get it tagged on the map. Anything over there? Nope, not yet. Oh. Uh... Are those friendly super mutants? Raiders? Maybe? Colossal Casey. Lightning and. Step right up and witness his. You here for the weird or the beard? What's the weird? Why, that would be the wondrous contents of my emporium. Behold. Nice. Finally, someone to sell stuff. Okay. So we found out that, uh. Hunting rifle suck, or the hunting revolver sucks, so we're gonna get rid of that. The uh, laser RCP also kind of was bad. We're gonna get rid of it. What do you have for weapons here? Watts laser rifle. Oh. How much damage does it do? 37. How much damage do these do? And I hate New Vegas' DPS feature. 61, so not that great. What do you got for armor? An eyebot helmet, a pimp hat, a pimp suit, huh? Souvenir fake mustache. French coat. Oh, okay. What about drugs? You got any stim packs? Yes, you do. I will take all of that. Thank you very much. Lanius. That. Ammunition. I'll take everything you got. It's such a pain to buy so much ammunition. I wish like it didn't like reset my mouse down here every time I wanted to buy like bulk ammunition, you know? Oh my god. Oh my god, I keep hitting the freaking button. I'm gonna leave the BBs alone. Don't need those. All right. Done and done. Anything else I can get rid of that I don't really need? Goss Compact is... How much DPS? 63, so... Really, anything that doesn't have that much damage, I think I should just get rid of. Laser pistols, garbage. Uh, Multi-pass rifle... 19. This one wasn't too bad against the ghouls. But... It uses the MF cells that the Goss Compact uses, so we'll get rid of that. Um... Battle Rifle does 50 damage. That's not too bad. The Auto Goss does 20... 42, was it? 42? Uses EC rounds. Yeah, but so does the minigun. 
I'll get rid of the rifle. I'll keep the minigun. The assault carbine uses five millimeters and does 14 damage, but it's also automatic. This one wasn't too bad against the little ghoul things, and it only does 32 as well, so yeah, that's pretty good. All right, I'll hold on to this then. Have any weapons or anything else to sell? Don't really need these fresh pears. Xander root. Lanius. I'll get rid of this money. Thank you very much. All done. All right. Thanks for the business. What's with the beard? It's a symbol of the Emporium's commitment to quality. 100% real, homegrown, and natural. Except no substitutes. If you think I'm impressive, you should see my baby brother. Born with a beard longer than himself. Yeah. Body or hate me? Nah. Cassie's just practicing to be a mime. With enough brand recognition, we're hoping to expand into entertainment. Of course. Well, if thanks for your uh, time. What, what gun you got there? Oh, a Gauss rifle. Well, it was nice to meet some traveling traders. What do we have here? Looks like these assholes, huh? Out of the way. Those count as abominations, huh? Hey, is that the truck? Clear this place out quick, huh? Let's see. Here's a stem pack. God darn it. Oh. Uh. There? Is hey. He? You're not a cannibal. You have a friendly face. I can tell. I've been trapped Do here I? for two days. Don't have many supplies left in here. How'd you end up in here? I was staying with my brother. In the shack town further up the valley. Then those creatures came down from the caves. I guess they were hungry. Who's your brother now? I don't know. I just had to run. He told me to run away, so I did. I had no choice. Those things were coming. He said he'd meet me here, though. That was two days ago. The gun shadow? I used uh, the Gauss Rifle Compact. I think it's a gun that's specific to this the Boulder Dome downloadable content, because I've never seen it before. So it's pretty cool. Let's see if I can find him. No. I want to come with you. We'll find him together. You can't leave me here alone. Those things will... Just go outside first and check it's safe. Then come back and get me. Don't be long, though. Okay, I'll go check. Does she really want me to... So, I guess I killed two things when you asked at this point. So, one of them is the one point or 127 millimeter submachine gun. That's what I used to kill the most recent one outside the gas station. Uh... No. Never mind. God, I do not remember what I did like five minutes ago. Holy crap. It's this gun, the Gauss Rifle Compact right here. Um, as you can see, MF cells. Take it out. Nice piece of, piece of gun here, as you can see. Very nice. Has a nice little, uh, oops, has a nice little uh, you know, aiming sight on it and all that good stuff. Nothing cool in here, anything valuable. Huh, there's a hatch to the basement, huh? Requires a key. Interesting. Alright. Did I just hear someone shout? Scream or something? Huh. I don't have a quest for talking to her. Seems. Doors inaccessible. Well, uh, that seems to be clear. I can smell dark oh my god. I can't hit him when they're this close. Okay. So the scream I heard must have been from her, huh? Well. I guess we figured out where they came from. That's why it was locked. Oh, 
Oh, by the gods. Okay, well, explore. Where am I at now? I'm just out behind the gas station? Damn. Well, she's dead. No point in crying over spilled blood. She just came with me. See if I can do anything with this truck. I think this mod has vehicles you can actually drive? Potentially? That's what I was being driven in, huh? I guess I can't. So, this guy who was driving me along, apparently he drug himself from here all the way to the cave up there rather than going to the Brotherhood compound there? I, I don't... I don't get it. Seems weird. But anyway. That uh, appears to be all the areas around here. There's more over there. I'm not... Oh, there's a scrapyard there, too. Hmm. Hmm. Interesting. Where do the other quests take me? If I go to the, the captain, I need to go all the way over there. Why do I have to go to the Boulder Junkyard first and then go over there? Odd. What about the cats in the crater? Does that tell me where a cat expert might be? Points me in that direction. Is there someone over there? I'm gonna save here quick and we're just gonna we're just gonna go down this place quick. I wanna take a look. See some stuff here. Fire's a key for that, huh? Okay. I saw a path that leads kind of through here. This. The tunnel? Apparently I can't go in it? It has an open closed thing, but can't do anything with it. Oh, there's a cave here? Hold on. Okay, let's enter this cave. Uh, let me uh, readjust my weapons real quick. Anti-material rifle is one. This one's three. Gauss compact is four. Go with the alt carbine is five. Battle rifle is six. And the Gauss minigun is seven. I think that's everything except for the grenade launcher, which is very, like... When the hell will I use that anyway? What? Huh. This is just like that one place that was in the uh, other location. Actually, it's, it looks exactly the same. Interesting. Just the. the Thing a little bit different located. Why is this here, I wonder? I can get gas from here, it seems, but no one here or anything. Okay, well, I'll just go back out then. What about the rest of this area? Anything down here in the, the trenches of this scrapyard? Place that requires a key, but I don't have a key. I mean, anyone who would have a key. The 
This is just the pile where the ghouls are at, huh? Interesting. Well, I'm going to go ahead and just save for now. And actually, I think we will... Uh, yeah. Cloud Manager. Go ahead and just end things for here, everyone. So, I'm actually quite liking this mod so far. Boulder Dome seems to be interesting. It uh, definitely has more, like, encounters and stuff that you're finding and, like, killing than uh, the Alt in Illinois mod, for example. So that's cool. And the story seems at least a little bit interesting. You know, where uh, we actually have a purpose for being in this location, and it wasn't just like the Alton one where we just ended up getting sucked into these people's problems just to get a ride home, really. We actually like are uh, trying to figure out, you know, what's going on and having a, a new area to explore. That's actually kind of cool. And there's cannibals, always cannibals. <sighs> anyway, if you're uh, watching this on Twitch, if you missed anything, the VOD for it will be up on YouTube here in a couple of days. Uh, if you are on YouTube watching this, you can follow me on Twitch and watch it live when I decide to stream. But, uh, yeah. Anyway, if you want to play it yourself, the Boulder Dome mod is on. The Mod Nexus, a place you can get all your Fallout mods. You can check it out there, download it. Very pretty simple. Barely any requirements for it either, either so like you don't have to get any other mods. Uh, and do a bunch of complex stuff. It's just like five different things that includes like textures, quests, meshes, locations, that kind of stuff. Very simple and easy to install with uh, the mod manager and then uh, play it yourself. But anyway, that'll be all for me today, everyone. So thank you all for listening and stopping by. Until next time, I will catch you all later. Bye-bye.